Friday to you folks, and thank you for joining us on another episode of BZB Express TV. Now, in our last episode, we introduced BZB Gear and premiered our HDMI extender for 1080p and 4K HDR signals. If you missed out on that episode, do not worry. You can easily click on the link above or down below to catch up on that. On today's episode, we are excited to be introducing yet another BZB Gear item. It is our 8x8 HDMI and HD Base T matrix switcher. Perfect solution for connecting multiple sources, Blu-ray players, game consoles, cable boxes to multiple displays, up to eight to be exact. All right, so let's keep things rolling and pass it along to our expert, Chris, where he will share more on this wonderful product. Take it away, Chris. Thanks, Joel. Hey, everyone. Uh, today we will be covering the new BZ-UHD-88M-ARC uh, model. Uh, basically, it's an 8x8 HDMI matrix switch, as Joel mentioned. Um, now, if you don't need an 8x8 uh, matrix switch, you're looking at something smaller, um, we do offer a couple other configurations, including a 6x6 and a 4x4. Uh, we'll get to those later and uh, do some demonstrations. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go over this guy here we got rolling. Basically, we're selling this as a kit. If you're interested, you can get six receivers um, known as the BZ-66M-70RX receivers. Um, they're capable of handling um, up to 4K 2K at 60 Hertz with chroma sampling at 444 at 18 gigabytes per second. So pretty fast, uh, as well as you're getting HDCP 2.2 and HDMI 2.0 ports. So let's take a quick look at what we got going on here in the TVs. Um, as you can see, we have four sources going. We've got an Xbox, we've got a Meridio tester throwing up our uh, test monitor. We have a Blu-ray player and a PS4. Over here, we're running 230 feet. Here we're running 150, and here we're running 120. Our 120 foot roll is basically giving us the limitations of what the specs say. Um, technically it's 115, but we threw an extra five feet in there um, just for that little extra run sometimes you don't count on. And as you can tell, it's working great. We got 4K here. 1080p here and 1080p here. The BZUHD-88M-ARC uh, supports audio return channel, which is a really good convenient feature for a lot of uh, uh, people that are in a certain situation where they want the audio to come back from the TV. This has you covered on that. As well as it has an optical and analog uh, output, you can configure it to either HDMI output for your convenience, so you can make sure to get the sound in that room you need it in. It also supports multi-channel digital audio formats like LPCM, uh, Dolby Digital Plus, uh, DTS uh, HD, uh, Dolby True HD. This system basically is ready to rock for you. So now let's talk a little bit about control. You have a convenient web UI interface you can use. So you can get on your laptop, type in the IP address, and actually jump right into this guy and uh, switch your inputs or whatever you need to do, change some configurations. Um, LAN IP control, RS-232, and IR. Uh, there's IR inputs and outputs on the switch as well as on the receivers. Included in the kit, we give you 15 blasters and 16 flashers. So you're pretty set up there. And then of course, if all else fails and you just need to make the thing change, got a little handy dandy remote here. Uh, matter of fact, let's do a little quick switch uh, to give you an idea of how long it takes to switch and what it looks like. So obviously here on our display one, um, we basically select the output point at the little guy there, and then select the source. This one being uh, source number two or input number two. Uh, typically, it's about a four to five second uh, delay between the changing of pictures or sources. Well, on the back side over here, you can see our wall grid. Um, we actually use the two HDMI outputs. So you're gonna get six HD base T's and you're gonna get two HDMI outputs. We're running 15 foot HDMI cables to two of these monitors. And then we got two receivers hooked up at 50 foot and 100 foot. Now, if you lose the little handy dandy remote, of course you have manual buttons here. So um, essentially you are just selecting sources. So this would be source one, two, three, four, as well as corresponding the outputs A, B, C, D. So if I'm gonna select A, and we're on one now, source one, basically it's as simple as um, pushing it once, toggling, and you will get source two. Um, same with the next one. So if we go to uh, output B, press it once, now we should be on source three. Uh, output C, source four, and you get the point. 
So we're really happy with this system. Um, we're stoked it's working. We think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. It's budget friendly, very affordable. And remember, if you got any questions, just give us a call, shoot us an email, you can come up on chat, uh, whatever's convenient for you. But we're here locally in Sacramento, California, and always uh, excited to talk to our dealers, our integrators, and our new customers. So uh, again, thanks a lot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like if you feel like it. We always appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see you in the near future. Stay